I'm Father Tim Hanley, the pastor here of St. Ignatius Loyola Parish in Mississauga. Been here four years and prior to that uh, was pastor of St. Dominic's Parish in Mississauga for 10 years. So I have 14 years of collaborative experience with the Dufferin Peel Catholic District School Board. And I want to begin with just a little quote from Jean Vanier. Jean Vanier in Becoming Human says every child, every person, needs to know that they are a source of joy. Every child, every person needs to be celebrated. And the story I'm going to tell you today is about Matthew. Matthew is a developmentally challenged boy with, on the autism spectrum. And Matthew came to us for the Sacrament of Confirmation. And it wasn't obvious that Matthew was going to be able to even take part in the ceremony, such was his difficulty on the autism spectrum. But in a collaboration which I find very fruitful to speak about today with you, it really came about and was a spiritual and very many levels a celebration of his faith. You see, Matthew is not vocal. And many would wonder, well, why celebrate confirmation? Does he have the ability to know what's happening? Can he know what's going on? And yet his parents, quite rightly, supported the fact that if the other siblings had been confirmed, so should Matthew. And it began really with the principal calling us to letting us know about Matthew's situation and the receptivity of our parish staff to take that special initiative and point it in my direction. So that when I met with Matthew and with his mother, I was able to work with them to specially craft a program for his preparation for confirmation. Sure, Matthew did come to Mass, but Matthew couldn't sit for more than five minutes at a time. So we engaged that Matthew would come for as much as he could and would go to the foyer or come in and out between the Masses and do as much as he could. But I think what really helped were the adaptive resources that the Dufferin Peel Catholic District School Board has made available, and I just want to use an exhibit. So this is the Adaptive Confirmation Preparation Kit that has been used and recommended to us as pastors in the Archdiocese through the offices of Sheila Peterson. It's been a tremendous help for people like Matthew, for the EAs, and for the parents involved. We also involve Matthew's EA, and she was the one who used this kit to, together with Matthew's family. And so as the progression occurred through Matthew's preparation, I met with his mother on numerous occasions. She had concerns. How was he going to react to the presence of even the wearing of a gown for confirmation? because sensory issues were a huge issue for Matthew. Any foreign object on his body would be an issue. What if he wasn't able to say amen? What if he wasn't able to stand with the other kids? How could Matthew come in a procession with other kids when that would drive him crazy? He would go off the wall, too much sensory overload. So what we did is worked with Matthew's mom and Matthew himself to prepare him for the day when he would re receive confirmation. So at his rehearsal, first of all, we made sure Matthew attends a school out of his own area. He had been with his peers at one of our elementary schools, so I thought it might be good for Matthew to rejoin his old school community for confirmation. That was the first thing that made him happy. He recognized his confreres in the old class, so there was a comfort level. Then, around the ceremony itself, we told Matthew, you don't have to wear a gown. Just be yourself. You don't have to come in the procession. So we seated him before the confirmation ceremony. We had a plan A and a plan B. If Matthew wanted to stand beside the other candidates, when the anointing of sacred chrism took place, he could do that. However, the cue was if Ma Matthew's mother thought he would be best off to be receive confirmation in the pew, that would be plan B. And so we just waited for a cue from Matthew's mother. There he was with all of the other kids, but we waited for a time when Matthew appeared to be settled. I went over to the pew, 
anointed him right there with the holy chrism. There was not a disturbance from him. It was as if the Holy Spirit had descended upon him. And with the loudest voice of all the candidates, he said, Amen. Alleluia. Who could have responded better than Matthew? He was an illustration and an example for these other kids. The family received that with great joy. The EA had a lot on a role to play. But I think when we each do our part, parent, family, parish, school, I think that it comes together in a way that we can recognize the dignity of people like Matthew. After Matthew's confirmation, typically the students are quick to take their gowns off. Matthew then put on a gown after the confirmation and was pleased to be having pictures in the parish. He was the last one to leave. So celebration-wise, it seemed that Matthew understood what had happened to him through the grace of the Holy Spirit and the gift of the Lord's grace in the sacraments. Through the cooperation of the principal and the EA, our own parish staff, and my own not lack of fear now of dealing with candidates on the autism spectrum, helped not only by my experience, but by this resource of the Adaptive Confirmation Preparation Kit. So if we wonder whether good things are being done in the terms of the sacraments, in our collaboration, at times we tend to wonder whether the children with special needs are being attended to. I think we can point to Matthew's situation here at St. Ignatius Loyola in May of 2016 and say with him, Amen and Alleluia.